Aquarius, welcome back to Alexander Tarot. If you're returning to my channel, thank you for supporting me. Your support helps this channel channel grow and it helps me to get these messages out to as many of you as possible. I've been off for a little bit. I haven't been feeling well. I am recovered almost 100%. And I look forward to get these messages out to you guys. This is going to be for April 2023, but time is fluid. Anytime you press play on this video, it's a time for you to receive these messages. Okay? And um, if you're here for the first time, perhaps you can let to me because Spirit has messages for you. But never force a reading, guys. If this if this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force a reading. Cross watches, you are welcome here. Keep in mind that the rules may be reversed. You may put the messages as needed if necessary. And this is for Aquarius and for anyone who has Aquarius in their chart. Okay? So we're going to start by pulling your mutual energy between you and the person that you're currently connected with. And then we're going to take it from there. All right? So, Spirit, please show me the mutual energy between Aquarius and their person. This is a love reading to see what spirits, what, what messages the divine has for you in love, okay? Show me the mutual energy between Aquarius and their person, please. Okay, a mutual energy is the justice reverse. Okay, let's find out what's going on in this connection that I'm connecting with. I'm getting like a nurturing energy in the past with this Empress, but let's start with the mutual energy. I got the justice reverse. I feel like there's a lack of accountability. Like someone in this connection recognizes they're not, they're not being accountable for something. They're not, you know, they know that they're projecting onto their person and not taking responsibility of their actions. And their person shares that energy. They're recognizing that this person lacks accountability. Okay, there's some sort of karmic avoidance. And someone feels like they're not being treated fairly. Okay, so that's the mutual energy that I have right now. Perhaps you both feel that way. But in the past, I feel like this is your energy, the Empress. Just very nurturing. Just healing, loving yourself, that kind of thing. Recognizing who you are. I feel like there was there's, a, there's this energy of a very strong confidence with this Empress here. I feel like someone feeling like, you know, listening to their intuition about someone. I feel like this person is very emotionally stable. I feel like this is your energy. But I also feel like there are things that are yet to be revealed in the past. And, and you're discovering the truth about something in the most recent past. Um, I feel like your faith is, you know, you're working on, like, with this Five of Pentacles reverse, I feel like there's been adversities, and you're just trying to push through these challenges, and your faith is being restored, because you're the Empress, you know your worth, you know what you want, you know what you deserve, and you just decided, you know what, I need to look within for the answers, the answers, I'm hearing the answers are within, okay? What is this that's going on? in the past for Aquarius. Okay, with the Page of Wands reverse, somebody was definitely acting out in this connection. I feel like this is your person. This person hurt you, this person. I get like very insensitive energy, very impetuous. Um, this person is someone who breaks your heart, someone who broke your heart, okay? Um, again, though, it didn't shake up your confidence in knowing what you brought to the connection and what you bring to the connection because you're the impress. So it's like this person tried to break you, but they couldn't break you. This person is just acting out because of their own um, obstacles that they're facing in their own lives. And I get the energy of somebody projecting onto you, but you're emotionally stable. Um, I got the Wheel of Fortune. These two cards fell out. They fell out for a reason. Um... I'm getting the energy if you can't step into the same river twice. You can't expect 
something to change if you don't change it. And this Wheel of Fortune is the opportunity for you to change things, close out a cycle, manifest better. That's what I'm getting with the Wheel of Fortune. Again, there was something that hasn't been revealed yet, and you're trying to listen to your gut about, about it. The sun came out, the most positive card in the deck. So I'm getting truth about something, openness about something. Um, I get with the three of wands reverse. I feel like your person's very arrogant, okay? Their plans are very unrealistic for the both of you. And that's kind of the reasons why you lose faith in this connection. But again, you have this good karma with the Wheel of Fortune. It feels like you're getting a nudge in a different direction than, the, than where you are with this person. Because and I feel like your person's the kind of person that you can't tell them nothing. They're never wrong. You can't approach. If you get into a situation, you suggest something to this person. They want to one-up you. They think they're always right. But, um... And I got this moon reversed in the current position. It could be connecting with the Pisces. It could be any sign. I feel like, you know, some something was revealed and it, it, it released your anxiety. Like your anxiety subsided once it came out. Or it could be your person. Maybe they said something to you and it is there's the anxiety subsided. Once they let this truth out, and it's coming off as self-deception. That's why I'm also seeing it as your person revealing something to you. Nine of Pentacles reverse. I feel like it's connected to money. Your person um has some financial challenges here. There's some you know instability here. And there might be, for some of you, there's like a shady investment, something they invested in that they shouldn't have, or they just, you know, they're not spending properly. And they needed to reveal that to you, that that was the issue. Their stability financially was caused, causing them to be the way that they were. Um, that's something they need to reveal to you. Um, they've been keeping it to themselves. But I don't really feel like they... There's accountability here, though, because with justice reverse, it's like this person is saying this is the issue, but they're just saying, you know, this is what happened with me. This has been, this is what's been going on. This is what I've been doing. This is what you're not aware of. But they're still not saying I'm sorry I was wrong. That kind of thing. They're not really taking full responsibility. Show me more. Show me more, please. I want to come out, so I'm gonna let it come out. Emperor reverse. Person's very stubborn. Your person may have not had their father or father, you know, in their life, and it affects how they deal with things. You know, some traumas from the past. I'm getting paternity issues. Some of them, your your person may not even know who their father is. So they didn't have anyone to, 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 you know, to raise them up, how to do certain things a certain way. But they, again, they still don't hold themselves accountable for anything. I'm getting that energy with Emperor Reverse, Aries energy. Okay. Show me more for Aquarius. Six of Cups. Yeah, your person's very emotionally immature. It's connected with their childhood. It's like they get all these different, these past influences. Um, you guys have a lot of memories though. I feel like you might've even known this person from your childhood or for a very long time. Um, I got the eight of wands here. I get like this person wants to take action. Somebody wants to take action. Why is this eight of wands here for this connection, please? Okay, because I feel like your person was very indecisive with this seven of cups. Um, trying to decide what's best for them, what should they should do. Wasting time though, because it's stagnant, because you're sitting around trying to figure out what you should do. You're not moving forward. But this, so this person's like, I'm tired of sitting in this stagnant energy. So they decide to take action. They want to move forward. They want to put in work because they got to this point with the star reverse. They recognize how they're doing things. It's like 
Like they focused on the negative for so long. It's time to, you know, to make a decision to change things. Like, you know, thoughts become things. You can't do the same thing that you've always been doing and expect a different result. But in the future, your person's like, no, I need to like, I need to work a little hard, harder. Okay. I need to find a solution to my problems instead of just creating problems, you know? But I'm not sure if they're communicating this with you, but they are recognizing it for themselves, okay? Yeah, because they want, they want happiness with you, with this Ten of Cups. They want security. They want stability. They want the happily ever after with you, okay? So they recognize that. So they may not be communicating that because this person definitely is currently an Emperor Reverse Energy, very stubborn, um, going to blame you for things, projecting onto you. But they do want happiness. They do want things to change. They are going to take act action because they want to get out of this negative pattern that they're in with you. So show me the breakdown in this connection. Now, let's see what that looks like. <laughs> the breakdown in this connection between Aquarius and that person that wanted to be there. All right, your person was just very selfish with this page of swords reverse. You know, just really wasn't considering your feelings. It was really about their feelings, okay? And it's just they had a lot of problems. So they were projecting onto you. Instead of dealing with their stuff, they wanted to make it look like you were the problem, okay? Blaming you for things that they were doing, which is like hypocritical. That's the energy that I'm getting. Um, but it's all because of these unresolved traumas. But your person with the four of swords reverse, this is like someone who's trying to, you know, find a mental strength to get out of that energy. Like they realize they have a lot of fucking problems. And with this ten of wands reverse, it's like they want to release it. They're like, they gotta, they gotta release everything that's burdening them. They do know that they haven't, I got the energy. They haven't told you this, but they recognize, okay, this is a problem. I need to tap into my mental strength and make things better because that's what caused the break. The breakdown is avoiding that, you know, not trying to, you know, find a mental, the mental strength to get out of this isolated energy or not trying to offload all these problems that we have I and mean, that, that they have, that they bring into the connection. You know, just not being concerned about your feelings. All of this caused a breakdown in the connection. So, Spirit, please show me advice. Oh, actually, please show me the challenges that Aquarius has in his connection with this person. What is Aquarius's challenges regarding their person? Got the lovers. Gemini energy with the lovers. Show me one more. Okay, the challenges that I have is the Ace of Wands and the Lovers. I feel, Aquarius, that you're being put to the test with this person. So you have to decide what is best for you. Do you want this partnership with this person? Is this your soulmate? You know, there's a lot of love here, okay? But you're like, you know, I want shared values. I want to feel like this is my partner. I want to feel like this person and brings just as much effort to this connection as I do. So your challenge is recognizing this is what I want and I'm being tested to decide, do, what do I do? Do I allow, you know, do I have this relationship with my person or do I go for a new beginning with this Ace of Wands? Okay, keep in mind that a new beginning can also be with your person. So right now your challenge is to recognize, do you want a new beginning with your person or do you want a new beginning with someone else? That is your challenge right now. That's where you are with this. Because it's like, there's no question that you love this person, but you just don't want to go into the same cycle of disappointment with this person. Because right now, your person isn't holding themselves accountable. Okay? They give you a little bit. Just a little bit. Just enough. You know, it's almost like breadcrumbing. Okay? So yes, they'll say, yes, you know, I we had this problem because I've been feeling this way. But it's like, okay, now what? Don't you owe me a fucking apology? You know? So advice is... Um, the Eight of Pentacles. Show me more for advice for Aquarius. That's what I was just about to pull. The Nine of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. Wow. With a lot of Pentacles, I'm getting a lot of Earth energy. It could be connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It could be any sign. 
This is the thing. Your person right now currently is not willing to compromise. They're still stubborn. Like I said, they give you just enough to say, okay, yeah, this is the situation. This is this is what I did. But there's no real accountability for it. Um, so, and I'm still getting that with this nine of wands be verse. Very stubborn. You know, they got to be the last one standing. It's just foolishness. So the advice that I have for you is if you want this to work with this person, with this three of pentacles, if you want to come together and you want to make this work, it's going to re require a lot of patience and a lot of hard work. Okay. It's going to require dedication. You and your person have to be committed to it. And you need to understand that if you're going to choose that, because your challenge is a new beginning with this person, it has to be, you know, it, it needs to be that this person is on board the way you're on board. They got to be willing to come together with you to make this work. You cannot carry this relationship. Yes, this person is saying, I want to take action. I'm tired of the foolishness. You know, I want happiness with my person. I want them to be my happily ever after. You know, they're trying to decide too. But remember, your current energy between you and your person, the mutual energies are just as reverse. Okay, there's a lack of accountability from your person and you recognize that. So the, the, the advice is to come out of this energy, but you got to understand it's going to take a lot of work and you're going to have to be patient. So you have to ask yourself, are you willing to be patient enough to make this work with this person? Because it can, as long as you two come together. It, you know, teamwork makes a dream work. you got to come together. You have to put in the work and you both have to be committed to putting in the work to make to finally change this cycle. Okay, so what I'm going to do before I close this reading is... I'm going to pull some messages from your person, what they're feeling, but haven't been saying to you. Let's start with that. Okay. Since they're so stubborn, I want to be more than friends. Okay. So those are, for those of you, your person feels like a friend to you. Like you guys, like I feel the energy of some of you got distant, pull back your energy. If you're living with this person, you're like not, you know, you're not having sex with them. You're a little bit closed off because you're trying to protect yourself. And your person's like, I don't want this. I want more. You know, so many things remind me of you. So again, some of you are in separation from this person. Show me more for the messages for Aquarius. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Okay. So your person is not telling you this, but they want you to forgive them. But this is like, dude or chick. Depending on, you know, the cards are not gender based, but it's just like, or non-binary, whatever, you know, take it as it resonates. But the thing is, they want you to forgive them, but they haven't really hold themselves accountable for what they did wrong. Like they know they did wrong. They know that they're unstable and their instability financially and their, their, their issues from the past is what's causing issues in this connection and what has caused it. But it's just like, okay, like. They want you to forgive them, but they're not even saying that they're sorry, you know, but they do. They are sorry. They just haven't told you that. <laughs> I knew exactly what I was doing. So they knew what they were doing, you know, breadcrumbing you, keeping you at arm's length, all of that, because they didn't want to own up to what they were doing to cause the issues in this connection. I feel you leaving me behind. So your person feels the distance that you put between them. I left when I saw you with someone. So, so some of you, your person is spying on you and they're assuming that you're with this person, but you're not, you want to be with your person, but you're like, shit, like hold yourself accountable. Like let's work on this. Okay. So I'm going to pull your current feelings. I'm interested to know what your current feelings for your person is. Okay. Show me Aquarius's current feelings for their person. What is Aquarius's current feelings? You're hurt by this person. Very hurt by this person because you love this person with this five of cups right in the center. Okay. You recognize who you are. You value your home. You value your family. You know what you bring to the table. Yes, this person hurt you, but you're not sitting around with your head hanging low. You know who you are. You know what you deserve. It's coming off very, very strong with this queen of wands. Um, you're very loyal. You're very generous. You really genuinely love this person. And you're like, I'm just going to focus on, get, you know, focus on myself right now. Like, you you know, you're just trying to, you know, be patient, trying to push through the challenges here because this person hurt you. But at the same time, you know what you bring to the table. So you're like, I'm just going to keep moving forward regardless. You know, you're the type of person, Aquarius, that you would leave this person right where they stand, even though you love them. 
if necessary. Yep, Queen of Pentacles, you're manifesting abundance regardless. You're unbothered, like, in that way. Yes, this person hurt you, but you're like, I know who I am. I know what I deserve. So either this person is going to come together and make it work with me, or I'm going to get it and I'm going to manifest it anyway, and I'm going to have it. So that's why your challenge is recognizing, do you want a new beginning with someone else, or do you want a new beginning with, with your person? Okay? But it's, you know, it's possible because, you know, you got this will of fortune here. And you're manifesting whatever it is that you want, no matter what. So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some love or lovers oracle cards, okay? To see the messages the divine has for you. Because I feel like you do love this person and you would rather it work with this person than start all over with someone else. But you're not with any more of the bullshit, okay? I'm, I hear like, no, like I've been through so much with this person. I just want us to get on the same page. And you did pull back your energy. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away anytime. And I've just said that. It's up to you. You can decide. Everybody has a breaking point. You have to decide what's your breaking point. Because regardless, you're going to be good. Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So that's why I said don't focus your energy on this. You know? Just... You know, surrender. This is what it is. Just let go and let the universe take over. And I promise you, what's meant for you will manifest. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. So, you know, you, you can't control the situation. Process it and release it, okay? Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So again, Aquarius, you're going to be happy regardless. You Yes, you want to be happy with this person, but you have already made it up in your mind and you're already manifesting the fact that you're going to be happy. There's abundance for you. There's happiness for you, regardless of how this situation, you know, progresses, okay? So those are the messages that I have for you, Aquarius. If this reading resonated, please let me know by liking, commenting, and sharing, or subscribing. I wish you healing love. I wish you light. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.